Hello everyone, you're watching Exo Photography. My name is Daniel. So I uh, made quite a few videos <laughs> inside outside my observatory. Everything doesn't go according to plan every day. And right now I struck a major backside. I usually run these kinds of computers. This is the Dell Optiplex 7010. It's been serving me really, really nice for four years, five years, something like that. But I had a incident the other day. I have uh, surveillance cameras in my observatory. I have one on my outside and one on the inside. And these surveillance cameras is powered by these kind of, of, of adapters, power over ethernet. I came out one day to the observatory and everything was dead. I tried to reset my uh, ground protectors. Uh, they blew right away. I just reset them one by one and was able to narrow it down to this adapter. Picked it up and it was full of water. It's a no-brainer that the ground protect is triggered then. The worst part about this story is that hopefully the power supply unit for my computer is the only thing that got uh, fried because of the uh, ground protector uh, got triggered and I reset it a couple of times. Uh, probably the computer, it throwed in the towel to say the least. So I really, really hope that the PSU unit is the only thing that got fried because I have every single software installed here. I have a backup, of course, but um, I have to reinstall all my programs, uh, load in all calibration files. Uh, it's quite a hefty job to do. I really, really hope that uh, once I got my uh, spare parts, uh, this will be up and running again. I can highly recommend these anyways. I just love the Dell computers. Um, easy, quite powerful. Where did the water came from? I see quite a lot of threads online, both on Facebook, Stargazers Lounge or Cloud and Arts. Uh, people asking, should I insulate my observatory? But let's watch inside the observatory and I'll explain more. As you can see here, um, it's just bare wood, no insulation, no whatsoever. And the reason for this is I want, I want to change air in my observatory as quick as possible. This has to do with cooling down all the equipment, so it's at equilibrium at the end of the day when I want to start photograph. In the corners of my observatory roof I have uh, open air vents uh, just for uh, making this uh, air change happens as quick as possible. But there's a huge drawback. Um, I have a tin roof and that is making condensation uh, with the uh, rapid change in temperature. And with the uh, autumn is here, quickly changing humidity, it's uh, dripping water from the roof uh, sometimes. That water hit my surveillance camera. It dripped down along the ethernet cable into the uh, power over ethernet adapter and it all went black. To be able to cool down my telescope as quickly as possible, uh, I also added a 125 millimeter fan, which I can turn on and off whenever I want. It's filtered and uh, it's also doing one more thing which in my mind is, uh, is quite good. It's creating a slight overpressure inside my observatory, which keep, well, I hope at least some of the dust and pollen away. During the most of the season, I keep this on. Right now I'm waiting for my power supply unit and uh, I will be mounting that and see if my computer get back on track. It's been a week and I ordered a replacement uh, PSU unit for my computer. I mounted, uh, those Dell computers are quite easy to manage. I just connected all the cables. Let's hope for it to start. I made a insulated box here, as you can see. Okay, let's put it on here. Yeah, it seems to be working. Awesome. Okay, let's see, it booted windows here for me. Let's see if Everything is working as it should. I'm going to start to open the software for the mount. Uh, this is the auto slew program. Yeah, it seems to connect properly. Trying to raise the fan speed. Yeah, perfect. 
let's try the Pegasus Astro in the new Unity platform. Yeah, it seems to work. Let's turn on the camera. Yeah, that worked too. Let's try Maxim DL. Connect. Yeah, perfect. So this is Maxim DL. It controls my camera and my filter wheel. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Everything seems to run as normal. No one could be happier than me. I, uh, this means I don't have to reinstall every single program on my computer. So, yay. See you out there. Bye.